Hi there, welcome to WP Matt. Here in this video, I'm going to talk about Gallery Widgets of Elements Kit plugin. First of all, from your dashboard, go to Elements Kit. After that, Elements and you scroll all the way down and make sure the Gallery Widget is activated. Now let's see some of the ready-made demos of Elements Kit widget. Visit Elements Kit landing page. After that, go to Elements Demo and find out the gallery. Click on this item and it will end up to the gallery landing page. From there, if you scroll down, you'll find some demos. The first one is Gallery Style Grid, where you can see the images of the gallery widget are in the grid view. Here the width and the height of the image are exactly same. If you hover any of the item, there you'll find an eye button and if you click on it, you will see the bigger size of the image. Now let's see the next one. The next one is Gallery Style Masonry. There you'll see all the images has taken an individual size. That size depends on the width and the height of the image. And in this time, if you hover any of the item, there you'll find an overlay and also a little eye button. If you click on the button, you'll see the bigger size of the image. Now let's see another one. This one is also a masonry style, but you'll find a column based masonry style. There you can see there are four columns and inside of these columns, the images has taken its own height. Similar to the previous demos, if you hover on the item, there you'll find an overlay and an eye icon. Click on the icon, you'll find the bigger size of the image and you'll also find an arrow button. If you click on the button, you can see the next image. So this is how you can look around the images of the gallery. Now let's see the next one and this is also a masonry style but you'll find no pop-up here. The next one is completely column based like we have seen before. Now in this part of the video we'll be looking at how we can import these demos into our own website. The first thing you have to do to use those demos is open any page with Elementor Page Builder and there you'll find three icon. The last one is Elements Kit icon. Click on it and you'll be introduced to Layout Kit. From there go to Widget Preset. From the left side find gallery click on it and there you'll find all the demos that we have already seen in elements kit website if you want to use any of them click on it and there you'll find an insert button and the preview button click on the insert button after that you'll find the demo is available into your website now let's see some of the settings of this gallery widget click on the widget from the left side you'll find gallery content and in here, you'll find the options to add the images. We'll be talking about all the settings in a few minutes. Now let's see how you can make a gallery from the scratch. I'm deleting this one. From the widget panel, search gallery. And there you'll find gallery widget by elements kit. Drag and drop the widget on your page. Now from gallery content, click add item. After that, you have to provide a filter label. I want to use the filter label style 1 and click on add image you can select image from your computer or you can select from your existing library I'll select from existing library there I'll choose three images after that click create new gallery insert gallery and this is how you need to add more item again click on add item give a filter label this time I want to use the filter label style 2 again click on add images select more images from here Alright, now go to layout and there you'll find your styles. By default it use grid style but from the drop down you can also select the masonry. There you'll find the columns. There you can use up to 8 columns but right now I want to use 4 columns. After that if you go to settings there you'll find filter label input box and some other settings. Right now I want to show the filter label. So, enable the filter label and there is the filter label. As I have used the filter label style 1 and 2, I've got two filter style. If I go to the style 1, I can only see the images that I have added to the style 1. And if I go to the style 2, I can only see the images that I have added to the style 2. It can also show the captions and the descriptions. If you want to use the lightbox features, enable the lightbox. After that, you will see an icon over the image. Using this feature, you can see the images in bigger size. You can change the icon from this option. After that, if you go to ordering, there you'll find random and default. If you select the random, the images will show in random ordering. 
Now let's see what we have in the style tab. In the style tab, you'll find the column gap, row gap, and content padding. You can also work with the thumbnails, and they will find border radius. As an example, I want to use 10 pixels, and you can see the images from all sides has got 10 pixel radius. You can use the border and also the image filter. I want to use the grayscale on hover and there you can see the images has got a dark style. Now if you go to the label, there you'll be able to work with the typography of the label, margin, padding, background and so on. You can also work with the link icon, overlay and the filter. And from the filter, you'll find different type of style. As an example, let's select this style 7 and there you'll find the changes. And this is how you can choose the style you like. After making all of your changes, don't forget to update it. Thank you for watching this video.